good morning. Morning. And welcome to our second full day in Disneyland Paris. Still can't believe we're here actually. It's um You don't yeah. sit there that fish. No, I know, no. but it's been a happy I was blur. last night in the fireworks. Oh. I'm here. <laughs> Um, we have made it for extra magic time. Um, the park doesn't open yet. It is 8.27. We have had our tickets scanned or our passes scanned and um, we're now just about to go through into the park. They seem to be holding a lot of people. Although there is a lot of movement. I think they've just opened some more yeah, I mean, or about to open there. some more gates. We're hoping that it isn't a disadvantage that we are in the no, annual really. pass. <laughs> Um, queue because it does seem to be longer but who knows it's a little bit chaotic um, would always recommend if you're coming for extra magic time get here like 10 15 minutes before extra magic time just so you can be like settled and poised and ready to go and we looked in the queue this morning for like if we want to pick up previous pass and wow it is insane so we are very happy these guys bought annual passes so it's just something to bear in mind that if you are coming with and getting the privilege tickets you need to get here I'd probably say like an hour before yeah, yeah. extra magic yeah, just to stand in the queue. Six, I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah one of them. Um, I will count. One of the cast members said to us that the queue can be up to four hours sometimes. Now I'm sure that's quite an extreme case, but it it's was understandable. That slow it can go. So. And yeah, yeah, it was it was a lot of just people. Just think we were in half an hour with four people. Or something. <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. So just something to bear in mind. I but, three and a half hours to go. <laughs> but for now. It is time for us to go and have a magical day. Peter Pan, after being subjective to photos. <laughs> we will leave our Instagram and check out. We do get some really nice photos. Yeah. <laughs> Current crowd levels, 840. <laughs> oh no, we can't get through. We can't get through. We can't get through. This way. <laughs> oh no. Quickly. <laughs> Construction walls are our nemesis. We need to get to Peter Pan. So 8.40. Let's check to see. What? Uh, yeah, let's check, let's, check, let's check to see. Oh god, we've got to walk the long way. Oh ah. no. It's alright everyone, well it's fine. We got this. <laughs> the way to do it. It's now a 15 minute way. I think it could be more than that. Everyone makes a beeline to Peter Pan and it's completely understandable. The queue is at least 60 minutes like the rest of the day. So it's 15 minutes and queuing out the door. We were on within five. So we are very happy. Bucket list done. This way <laughs> we're heading to Space Mountain. That Dean and I are going to go do Space Mountain while it's a five minute wait, then we're going to do Buzz. Might ride Buzz a couple of times to be honest, um, if it stays at five minute wait, because that one's really easy to get people onto. And then we're just going to see what we can do. I think it would be nice to meet some of the characters today. Just going to see what the lines are like. Oh, sorry, yes, they were taking photos. Okay, sorry, there's me just like wandering off. <laughs> Thank you. 
we are uh, to this beauty. No Ubertron, go on behind. So far so good with uh, it's time. It's gone up to 10 minutes now, isn't it? We're gonna be five. We should be all good to get on in 10. Peter Pan alone was worth it. Because that queue has been crazy and I think it's gonna be crazy again all day today. The plan now is hyperspace, followed by, we're gonna do round three and maybe of Buzz. Sure. Go <laughs> Katie basically wants to go until she wins. <laughs> And behind the gram. Right. Hey. You know so we much. need a poo might be in space, don't we? <laughs> that was excellent as always. Yeah. But like we said the chest restraint that time was a little bit tighter. Yeah. Almost felt it was loose around the belly but tight around the shoulders. I think I'm getting old because it is really hard to get into the back. Of those, so like, <laughs> I mean, in... I was so graceful getting out. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> so, you sit in like four, like pods of like four, so and the two in the front is way more easier to get into and comfy than the back. The back, I feel like you got thrown around more, and they're so hard to get out. There was a lot of oofs, <laughs> <laughs> and me just standing on the seat, really not realizing that I was then gonna get like having to bend under the harness. Yeah, it just yeah, it wasn't very elegant. <laughs> Look, we now need to find Ben and Nicola. We're gonna do um, buzz. Look this guy. But I can't see him. They said they were gonna just hang around here. Maybe they've already gone on to renew their rivalry. Guys, enjoy your rest. Oh, yes. I was just checking my, my lips. <laughs> well, you say that well, for now. I'm hobbling. I'm hobbling. So, we just got off the buzz, and uh, I think to make, her, to make herself feel better, Katie wants a good picture with some ears by the castle. Yeah. We don't mention the score. So convince the girls to ride Snow White, we get to the front and it breaks down. Two, much to the delight of these two. I reckon you paid someone to break that ride down. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> we just had a very magical moment. We're about to go on the train. We don't know if we're going to make it on this one or we're going to have to wait for the next one. Whatever, that's yeah, fine. Well, next one do with the rest. But is um, doing his waving from the top of the station on Main Street and he was like waving away to everyone else like oh this is really cool you can see him from the back of the castle and then all of a sudden he turned around and was like oh um, we'll insert a picture and yeah, Nicola got a video so well done Ben got a video I got a picture between us I didn't yeah, get anything we else <laughs> taking it all in between us we got it all. So we didn't like call out to him or anything. Just no, turned just, around. I think you just felt like someone was there. <laughs> no, but, you feel like someone's burning holes in the back of you. <laughs> <laughs> but that was such a magical moment. And now time yeah. for the train, which we absolutely love. We were young and we were free and running. Never bothered about what could be coming Every day we danced and life was smiling We were young and drunk in love Get ready to dream with eyes wide open As our celebration dream at Shad Rider will begin in just a few moments Copyright music Yeah. <laughs> 
We have spotted that they do Mickey Waffles and beignets for the 30th anniversary. So we need to have some of those. I'm having a beignet. And I'm going to have a Mickey Waffle. You can either have it with uh, Nutella, whipped cream or marshmallows. Nutella. Yeah. Nutella? Nutella. 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 <laughs> um, but I'm very excited. Ooh. And then um, it is 25 past 11. The Lion King show is at 12. So that is what we're going to head to next because yeah the um, crowds are quite intense here as we knew that they would be but we've managed to get a lot done we're having a lovely morning oh, oh yeah oh, I mean, oh they're cute sorry just distracted my food <laughs> Merci. Merci. Terrible vlogger did not uh, show me just demolishing. Well, we those. have to go and get some more anyway. Until yeah, that's true. Didn't show me demolishing those waffles. They were so good. Um, and insert a picture just in case it didn't really show you properly. Um, this is it, I think, isn't it? We're just at the end of the queue for the Lion King. It starts in about 20 minutes. We'll see if we'll make it in. Um, hopefully we will, but it's pretty busy. Uh, but yeah, then the tills went down. I don't know if there's a bit of an issue, but um, we paid for ours using card, no problem. And then the others couldn't get this. Dean's got a beignet. Verdict on the beignet? Uh, it is not so good because it's not full of uh, Nutella, but look at the inside of that. Yeah, that is, that's more Nutella than beignet, or whatever. Um, and so Ben 
Jen and Nicola had to settle for Nutella cookies. I'm a bit sad, I'm not gonna lie, but Jessie's still good. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't the same as the Nutella waffles, yeah. they were so good yeah. and for five euros I actually think that was quite a good snack. Um, so yeah, all in all, good day, hopefully as I say we'll get into this show, then be about half an hour, we've got until three, which is when our dining reservation is because I don't know actually if we mentioned it, we're off to Captain Jack's this afternoon which is really exciting and then we're going to leave the park. I don't know what we're going to end up doing um, for a few hours because it is busy. But we'll keep you posted. Left row, baby. <laughs> yeah, we're in. We've come to the back row. Uh, it just means that maybe we can film a little bit and not worry about there being a screen behind anyone. Rest. And yes, the back rest, which is very comfy. If you do want a better seat, you do need to get here early. We got here about 15, 20 minutes early, and it's obviously not early enough. That's um, a lot of beyond us. Yeah, so they're going to really pack us in. But maybe we'll come and see her again either later on today or tomorrow if we really enjoy it. We've still got Mickey and the magician that we want to see. So many shows are back that we weren't here before. And I was just saying, the only one was here when we were last year was uh, Disney Dream yeah. Dream Factory. And even before COVID, we never did shows. I don't think not here. Wrong because yeah, not we here. were definitely, we're show people, we were definitely a watch them. To be fair, we said, didn't we? I don't even remember coming back around this part of the park. No, I've never been in here. Well, maybe when I was younger. Um, we've got five minutes until the show's meant to start. I reckon it'll be a bit late. Yeah, well, they always are, aren't they? I mean, there's a lot of people coming in. Yeah. They are here, too. I think any seat in there is good. So much going on the stage, left, right, and centre. You're going to see, you're going to see something. Yeah. So we would 100% recommend that. That is a must do. Or we might even watch it again tomorrow if we've got time. Because yeah, that was just insane. Disneyland Paris, you have upped your game. <laughs> We mentioned this on our last vlog. Cowboy Cookout. Cowboy Cookout. Very good restaurant. There is a mini meet and greet. The line is longer than it was when we were here last time, unsurprising. However, for how busy the park is, this line is so short. It's probably about like 10, 15 minutes max. Um, and I think the only reason it's quite long when we said it's a busy lunch time here. And the show is finished. So, so people, you've got to get 
on the way out. Yeah. But we did. Yeah. Um, and then Goofy's just been passed as well because just back here is where he goes to have a little rest in between meeting people. And then he goes to meet over there where we met him with Goofy's last time. Yes. That was a really good meet and greet actually. I think this time around from last September um, there's less meet and greets or they're not as quick like sporadic. Oh look there's a character let's quickly meet him. I think it's just now because you can yeah, there's less of them just being behind stuff. I still think there should be a Mickey too. I mean, it's probably one of the Mickey out about the rain on the balcony. Yeah. I think that kind of thing is still really good. Yeah. Adds to the magic. But now, ears on. Cardigan is off because it's got very warm. Uh, just under two hours before dinner. Very excited about that. And we're just going to wander and take it all in. Mother Shoal Whip. There you go, that can see you. Was that five euros? Yeah, it was five euros. That is huge. You don't get that in America, do you? <laughs> Do you get four spoons? Excellent. Right, sorry. Hey, do we all go in? Do we all go in? Let's say what she think. Oh, so good. So good. What does Ben think? Go on, get your fork in. Amazing. Yeah? Get your fork in. Yeah, it's as good as I remember. Is it? Yeah. My guy. <laughs> No one else wants anything, right? Mm. Cheese! <laughs> yeah. Oh, so good. Oh, oh. It's like summer in a bowl. Mm. It, it actually is. <laughs> this is plenty for full so refreshing. Absolutely. Yeah. I feel like we are in Animal Kingdom. Mm. I know that is not where dogs are from. Don't come at me, YouTube people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but. We're by the river. We're by what this way looks like the tree of life. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. looks very similar to the um, areas we sit in to have dinner and lunch. I agree. When we've had like macaroni. Oh yes, in Animal Kingdom, yes. Oh, I, um, a while then, didn't I was I was so yeah. confused. Uh, it's because Ben said yes and I was like, I'm really confused. I'm thinking of a different place. Quite a bouncy bridge. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you go down to the caves today, you're sure a big surprise. There be treasure. There be a Katie. Don't go into the light, Bob. Don't go into the light. Say it, Bob, love. Say the word. Of water. Go Pirates of the Caribbean. But it's too busy. <laughs> With the Captain Jacks. Like it. We haven't spoken to you for quite a while. Um, 
no real reason other than the fact after Captain right. Jack's, <laughs> yeah, which was amazing. Really, really good food. You vlogged some of the food, didn't you? Yes, I did, and sort of like the ambiance. Uh, really recommend that restaurant. It is a little bit more on the adventurous side, I'd say, for eating. Yeah, it's Carib Caribbean fare. Yeah. In terms of what you're eating. So it's no burgers or chicken strips or sort of that kind of thing. So it's the only thing to be mindful of. But that's really nice. Yeah, the theming, the ambiance, the food, quality, service. Really, really good. So we definitely recommend. We then came back via getting some schnecks. So we got some fudge. Of course we did. Yeah. Love standard, fudge. standard fudge from definitely Disney. Like three bars for the price of four. No, four, four bars for the price of three. So uh, right. yeah. And then our discount. So we did that, and then we went to the amazing bakery that's just by our Airbnb. Got another cake each. Which are just stuff before we left. And uh, sorry. <laughs> and then, I'm not gonna lie, I crashed. It was a danger nap. It was a real danger nap because I napped from about quarter past six till just before seven. No, when that alarm went off, I was I was so out of it. <laughs> this holiday, it's just exhausted us. We have done a lot of steps. The walking to and from the Airbnb to Disney isn't too long, but it's long enough. And yeah, we're doing and twice the, a day at the minute. Yeah, <laughs> and the heat. And just I think the crowds and having to think about you know where we're going and planning our day and dodging crowds and all that kind of stuff. It's just meant that we are exhausted on this trip. Uh, ben and Nicola, Nicola uh, very tired too. Um, but now we have left them. They're still just finishing up in the Airbnb doing some sorting. We have decided to head back into the park. It's almost half past seven. So this is why we're <laughs> walking quite fast because actually i'll tell you in a minute we're at the crossing where people <laughs> don't stop for you so bear with um we are heading to tower of terror ben and nicola don't do that ride and we really would like to do it before the end of the trip without paying <sighs> yeah we did say if we absolutely had to if ride times were insane tomorrow and it was the only way we could do it we would buy premier pass please don't hate us <laughs> but we really don't want to because we really don't want to pay for that and give no, we Disney. Don't want to beat the system. Yeah, absolutely. So it says it's a 10 minute wait. We are going to run and see if we can do it and then meet the guys for drinks. We have no plans to go back into the parks tonight. We're going to explore some of the resort hotels. We'll Maybe bring you with us. Shops there because there's in the different stuff. Yeah, everywhere. and pick one of the hotel bars to have a cocktail. And then I definitely need to be in bed, like today. <laughs> Every other night it's been like one, almost one. Yeah, when we've gone to sleep and then up again at seven. So we need to take it easier because we've got to go back to work on Monday. And it's a long old day tomorrow. Yeah, it really is. The driving. Yes. Not the driving. <laughs> no, but it's still it makes it a long day. So yeah, that's catching you up on where we are and what we've been doing and what we're gonna go do yeah i don't, I don't think they really, you really would have wanted to watch us sleep <laughs> no unless you want to see <laughs> yeah that was me we made it 741 was a bit of a sprint <laughs> Every... it will <laughs> if people saw us if saw us end up sprinting i'd be worried about our uh... well all right <laughs> it was a bit of a how yeah Lots of people leaving the park, but we're obviously oh, entering. Nikki is here waving everyone goodbye. Hardest working man in showbiz. Hardest working man in showbiz. Little Zoe Echo, I literally oh, just said that. <laughs> I didn't hear you. No, uh, But yeah, it's time for Tower of Terror. <laughs> Pretty much a walk on. <laughs> that ride was great. The cast members are amazing on that ride. We were talking earlier, and leave a note in the comments to see what you say as well. What would be your like favourite cast member position to be or like attraction to work on? 100%. Well, I'd love to be like a character attendant, but 100%. Yeah, I mean, that, that would be quite fun, the character attendant. 100% no Tower of Terror for me. Yeah, it's got to be. Um, just 
The performance, it's so good. We think that there could have been some cast members earning their ears in our little first room where you watch the TV screen because yeah, there was we four in, of them. Yeah, we were in there. Well, there's five of them, right? There was four of them walking around and had the fifth one stood so there in the corner oh, staring at Yeah, out. he was like... <laughs> <laughs> you did not say very much, just staring. <laughs> Quite creepy. <laughs> All added to the ambiance. And yeah. to be fair, the, uh, the, the guy that actually sent us off in the lift, I don't think knew loads of English. Because he basically said the whole spill in French. And he but it seemed very funny. He, well, he kind of got a couple of gist of it. And then he uh, just went, yeah, and all of that in English. <laughs> I wonder what's happening here. Is it an event? Loads of people waiting outside yeah, in the Hollywood event. Studios. Event. Hollywood yeah. Studios, Walt Disney Studios. Yes, it does. Maybe there's like an after hours type event I if or it's corporate get a bit event. Larry, like it did yesterday. Oh, yeah, it was <laughs> in the, uh, in the hospitality tent. It was raving at like midnight. <laughs> oh, did I get raving? Raving. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna go meet Ben and Nicola now. They are sat on a bench people watching around the lake We haven't been to the resorts yet, which is really unlike us. We at least Go and maybe have a drink in one of them yeah. if we're not staying on site way before the end of the holiday But this is a completely different trip for us. It's been amazing um, Tiring. <laughs> yeah. We were discussing before um, is it because we've gone hard or actually, it's because the park's open until right, 11 and they don't, they don't normally stay until 11. <laughs> yeah, we think that's what it is. But for now, battle through the Disney Village and drinks. It is time for my Disneyland Paris Pina Colada. <laughs> It's not your teams, but that's um, it's quite cool uh, watching that with loads of other people. There are definitely a lot of Liverpool fans here Surprise, today. They're everywhere. <laughs> but this is not a sports commentary channel. So <laughs> we need to go find Ben and Nicola. Because <laughs> there was a couple there, I think. That does they sound, sound very me, that one as well. I might try that one. <laughs> a little bit steamy. <laughs> we just met Pluto. That was amazing. We came out of the. Um, <laughs> um, we came out of the bar and we were looking for the toilet and I was like, "There's Pluto." <laughs> Nicola was like, "Oh yeah." I was like, "Let's go." I'm wearing my Pluto T-shirt. It was meant to be. So we put in our footage. We've got loads of photos. That was good. I think we got more than photos. <laughs> We'll just put it this way. He was a very, very friendly Pluto. We'll just leave it there. Stephen, <laughs> <laughs> move the 
discovered the magnetic groups. Yeah. You've got a little magnet that you put through your t-shirt and that's how he sits on people's shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it smells, it smells good, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, that was a great chance encounter okay. of Doctor Strange. There we go. She got <laughs> In the Marvel Hotel, we would love to stay there one day. That's on our bucket list. It smells so good, mate. But for now, it is quarter past ten. So much for us having an early night. <laughs> It'll be earlier. Yeah, we're leaving now. this is true. Um, we're exhausted. Our battery is exhausted. So we are going to call it a night. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit like if you enjoyed. Subscribe. And we will see you again tomorrow for our final day. But don't worry, there's still lots of magic to be had. Just you wait and see what dining reservation we have. We will see you tomorrow. No, we won't. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye.